Good morning from Glam's Castle. This is supposedly the most haunted castle in Scotland. It's also where the Queen Mother used to live and Princess Margaret was born here. She was the first British royal born in Scotland in about 200 years. Welcome to the dining room. Glam's. Absolutely stunning pictures. The guide said that you can see the evolution of the coat of arms and the stained glass. Also take note of the thistles for Scotland on the roof. But really, that ship, oh, it's just beautiful. I just realized this is mom's first grand home. She's gonna flip. We've now entered the crypt, which it's very incredible, mainly because, um, according to legend, there's a secret chamber in here. So, this room was sealed up for 300 years because two earls supposedly played cards with the devil himself in a secret chamber here that has never been found. They said that there are still strange sounds that can be heard. Editing Haley checking in here. What the hell was that? I guess they really lean into the most haunted castle in Britain. This is what the crypt looked like in 1890. Pretty much the same as what it looks like today. These are the central stairs that were hewn in 1600. It's the main spiral stairs. Welcome to the drawing room said to be the most resplendent room in the castle. Also, I will say, this palace has real flowers. Buckingham Palace had fake flowers, so points to this one. Lovely portraits all along the wall. And one of the largest mantles I've ever seen. Really just wanted to note these incredible lions that I would I also put next to my <laughs> fireplace if I had them. in Europe. So, if you see this little chair in the corner, this is said to be haunted by the Grey Lady. Oh, the windows are beautiful. Welcome to the billiard room with cover table. These tapestries depict the life of Nebuchadnezzar from the 1600s. Only one other set is known. And these books are original to the library. This is the King William room. Um, he didn't die specifically in this room, but they named it after him. And they also brought all the china in here. Mom thinks she saw a ghost. This was the Queen Mother's sitting room. There's a lady that came down and went back up again. There was a lady. I heard. <laughs> but this little stone step is supposed to have a ghost boy that sits on it and waiting to be served. Oh, you can see the chapel up through the window. Oh, yeah. That's a 
chapel? I believe so. Oh, that beats any armor I ever had. Well, I mean, this is royalty. Yeah, well, sometimes it felt like it. <laughs> so this was the queen's sitting room, or the queen mother's sitting room. Oh. Welcome to Duncan's Hall. Is this metal? Yeah, it is metal. Yeah, those are sheets of metal that you would wear under armor. Yeah. So that is a spy hole where the family could see who was coming. And I love this derpy bear. Boop. So if you're doing the self-guided bit, it says you've reached the end of your tour, but then there's a bunch of other stuff to see. It's household items. Dollhouse. Family photos. Oh, they have a photo of Princess Diana. And a lovely dollhouse. Oh, nutcrackers. They are. The 13th Earl of Strathmore and I had similar tastes because I love that. Um, well, that's the creepiest thing that I've seen while we've been here. Well, that's even worse. I called it creepy and now it's looking at me. Stop. Looking at me, if it blinks, I'm gonna scream. That is so scary. Oh my god. Oh, come on. I, I don't wanna be in this freaky draw, freaky doll gaze. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So, the special right now, special exhibit is the children of class, which most notably are the queen. It's just crazy to think that these are all the queen's clothes. I think my favorite thing is this rocking horse. They have a little photo. That's the queen on the rocking horse. And they have a pet cemetery. Technically, we were supposed to leave at 12. What is this terrifying thing that inspired Labyrinth? An early French musical toy. Oh, I need a picture of that. So this was what we drove up to. It's just lovely. Mom taking a photo. There are these little satellite tiny castles that I'm sure were for guards. The cows are a really integral part. Um, apparently Angus cows, this, I mean, we're in Angus. I also really like those statues. Oh, I lost the second one there. But it's just quite lovely. I'm just waiting for those ladies to get out of my shot. All right, and welcome to Scone Palace. We're gonna get to see the stones where the ancient kings of Scotland became king. But first, we're gonna get some snacks. You're not a dog. What are you doing? Okay. You're not a dog. We said we were doing it and we did it. This is our snack. I've got a scone with clotted cream and two kinds of jam. Figured I'm not going to come to the scone palace and not get a scone. Mom got, it's just a brownie, right? Yeah. Brownie. <laughs> a scone palace brownie. And we're eating in this lovely little courtyard. So this is the Stone of Destiny, where the kings of Scotland were crowned. We went on a very long walk because the map is confusing. But it's lovely. And there's Cedars of Lebanon. We had Cedars of Lebanon at home. And then we killed both of them. That's a peacock call. Wow, imagine if they all did that at once. Yeah. Quite something. There's one that lives nearby us. Did you want